What's up, coffee explorers? Welcome to Santorini. What's up, coffee explorers? So today I am sitting in Santorini, Greece. Even more so, I am in Parisa, Santorini, Greece, and I am at Fratzesco's Fish Tavern. I came here to get this amazing salad right here. It's a salad of Santorini. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. We got some feta, we got some, some cucumbers, some olives, some cherry tomatoes, Papers, some onions, looks like some croutons, some bell peppers. Oh, lots of good stuff here. And I am sure it is just going to be absolutely delicious. Let's dig in. Some of this feta there too. That is a refreshing salad. These cherry tomatoes are absolutely just some of the best tomatoes you'll ever eat in your life for sure. Try one of these croutons. That has got to be one of the crunchiest croutons I've ever had in my life. It, uh, <laughs> it rattled my brain when I crunched into it. As far as salads go, this one is rating up a good 8 or 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. These cherry tomatoes, they're, the one, they're what do it all for it. And this cheese, actually, I don't think it is that. I think it's some some other kind of cheese. I can't remember what it was called, but it is very good. It's more of a mild uh, cheese than feta. Feta's kind of got that bite to it. This is a lot more mild than that. I think it would be an amazing cheese if it was fried. But why, why am I eating a salad? <laughs> well, because before I left uh, Seattle, I weighed myself and I weighed in at 310 pounds. That is just way too much. It's the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And I gotta, I gotta stop that. So I'm trying to lose some weight. And uh, hopefully being in the Mediterranean will help a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the salad and I'm gonna make you sit through it. I got another entree coming. So I got this grilled calamari here. Oh man, look how good this thing looks. Unbelievable. I can't wait to just jump into this. I'm gonna take a taste of it before we put any of the lemon and stuff on it. I'm not sure exactly how they grilled this, but I'm thinking they grilled it over a fire and smoked. It's just, wow. It's, it's got that perfect taste of char to it. And 
and the seasoning, I, I don't really recognize the seasoning very much, but try some of the tail here. Mm. That sauce it's sitting in, it's, it's a really acidic, vinegary sauce. It's, uh, it's perfect. It just cuts right through the flavor of that. And, and just, wow. This is the absolute best squid I've ever had in my life. And I haven't even doctored it up yet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that now. I hope the audio is coming through okay. I just got this new microphone. Just testing it out for the first time. Mm. Oh yeah. This is the reason why you come to Santorini. The food alone. I mean, you got other cool stuff. You got archaeology. You got just the beautiful views. And this is on the back side of the island. Don't even see where all the magic is right now, but it's worth it. We got a nice black sand beach out there. Lots of day beds with pretty cool umbrellas over the top of them. People out swimming in the ocean. And just good times to be had all around. And this is just day one. I'm excited, excited, excited. Getting here. On the other hand, that was a problem. <laughs> I ended up leaving Seattle on Monday morning. At, like, I got on the plane at 8 a.m. I flew to New York, and then I found out that my flight had been canceled, and nobody bothered to tell anybody. So I literally I got stuck in New York at the airport. I was there forever. Finally, I went and I rented a hotel room and while I was waiting for things to get situated and everything. And I was supposed to fly into uh, Venice and then present a rapid antigen test in Venice so I could transit through and then fly to, to Santorini. And that test cost me $200, so that was a lot of fun. Then I ended up getting the direct flight to Athens so I no longer needed that test results anymore and then from there I had to wait another three hours at the, the airport in Athens to get a 20 minute flight here to Santorini and then it cost another $35 to get to my hotel oh man this squid is absolutely just amazing but you know hopefully hopefully the airlines are going to take care of me and take care of some of my expenses that I occurred that, that I shouldn't have because that sucked but I'm here now happy days I'm on the island that's the ocean right there um, the weather's great I'm so excited this is going to be one hell of an adventure So if you're ever in Santorini, I highly recommend this spot. It's called the Francesco's. It's there in Parisa, Santorini, right there on the beach. You're gonna wanna come here and try their food. Nice strawberry panna cotta. Their seafood is fantastic. The salad is absolutely amazing. Even the bread that they gave you is pretty damn good bread. Definitely get there. Just like, subscribe, stick around. You're going to want to see the rest of this adventure. I'm going to be in Greece for a few months. And then after that, who knows where I'm going. But I know that by the end of the year, I'm going to be at the pyramids. And that's going to be really exciting. As always, eat great food.
If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.